Well, the numbers on the PCM tell me that this could be, the controller could be out of a Cadillac XLR, it could be out of a Saturn View, or a Chevy Uplander, or a Buick Terreza, or a bunch of other different vehicles, but all from 2007. And uh, in the place where I'm looking at the PCM numbers, I actually don't even see a Trailblazer on this list, but uh, that doesn't mean that that controller couldn't have come out of an 07 Trailblazer. The best way to find out what it came out of is really to plug into it with uh, HP tuners and read the bin and read the ECU and see what it says it is. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this car has something already plugged into the OBD2 port. I don't know what that is. We'll figure that out later. And plug that in the laptop. Ignition. I've already connected the battery for this. And now we will gather info. That's all we need to do. I must have a ground unhooked for the ECM. Hold on a minute. The uh, engine's out of the car, and so all the grounds are disconnected from the engine. And sometimes the ECM is grounded at the engine block, and so if all the grounds are off the engine, sometimes you might not be getting a good ground, the engine controller. And we're hoping that's what that is. All right, we're connected, we're connected. We've got power, gathering folks. Hey, how about that? So, this identifies Is a 2007 Trailblazer SS with a six liter. Uh, clearly, this is not a 2007 Trailblazer. Well, so we identify with uh, HP tuners as a uh, 2007 Chevy Trailblazer with a half ton truck with a six liter V8. It shows that we have the E67 PCM and the T42 TCM and we have a VIN mismatch between what's on the car and what's in the controller, which is uh, a given. I mean, you can't take this controller and program it to a 2016 or a 2006. Uh, I don't think it lets you enter that VIN in if you wanted to. But it's here, it's in, it's running. I'm sure the VATS has been disabled. And uh, that's what we got. We have a controller for a 58X and not a 24X, and now we need to explore the harness. We need to understand if the harness was changed along with the controller or if it was just the controller only swap from 06 to 07. I'm not sure if the connectors on the PCM would be the same for the uh, two different controllers or if they were different harnesses altogether. It would almost kind of sort of be okay if they were because, uh, well, I don't even know if 07 if the 07 was still the LS2, it probably wouldn't have had the DOD on it. Uh, the motor that we might be putting in might come with DOD, and for what we're about to do, it might be kind of cool to keep DOD if we can. Uh, we're working on making lemonade. I'll, uh, I'll talk more about that in the next video. For now, uh, that solves our mystery. The uh, PCM was swapped from an 06 to an 07, and that's how we got the 58X motor in the 24X Trailblazer. All right. For whatever it's worth, I am so happy that we tore the motor out and tore it apart before we ordered the replacement engine. I was going to uh, try to get this guy a replacement engine 
just to hurry up and move through the job. And we were thinking about getting a 24X because by the VIN, by the vehicle, that's what this is, is this is a 24X engine. But he had the 58X engine in place. And if I had got the 24X engine, that would have, uh, that would have made things a, a, a lot more complex for us. We would have had to try to either send that back or we would have, uh, it just would have immediately put us in a bad spot. So it's always good to do your homework and do your research and make sure you're getting the right parts before you order, huh?